I recently upgraded my cell phone, and I did this so that I could take better pictures. That's not something you'd really say 20 years ago, but that's just the way things are now. My previous camera was a Galaxy S10, and my current camera, it, cell phone, is a Galaxy S21 Ultra. Well, the main difference between the two is that the S10 would uh, take, I think, 12 megapixel pictures, and they were just terrible. The photographs were awful. Uh, it seemed like the processor, the uh, software, might have been partially to blame because they were very... Uh, cartoony looking and ruin a lot of good memories. The S21 will do up to 108 megapixel photographs. Uh, it's kind of a questionable 108 megapixel because uh, it's not really as good as the quality I've seen on much lower megapixel SLRs, but I don't have one of those right now, so this is what I'm going to use. Another difference with the video uh, capability is that the S10 would do up to 4K 60 frames per second and the, uh, the S21 Ultra will do 4K 60 frames per second and also 8K 24 frames per second. And that just means the, the amount of pictures that actually exist, individual images that exist in one second of video. Now, uh, ideally, the, the higher frames per second results in a smoother video, but uh, I'm not too worried about that because somewhere down the line, the technology is going to be advanced enough that we'll be able to just do the math and uh, divide the location between the, the pixels from one frame to the next. So we can take a 24, uh, uh, a 24 frame per second video, and if there's a little bit of distance from one frame to the next, the computer will be able to, you know, the software will be able to analyze where that pixel moved from and to and find a location halfway there and, you know, convert 24 frames per second into 120 or 240 or whatever you want. So it'll make the video look a lot smoother. What I'm mainly interested in today is the zoom capability. As you hear people saying that, uh, that eventually cameras are going to get so, uh, so detailed that it will be, uh, be able to record more information than the human eye can see, and then it's just kind of a waste. Not really a waste because the, uh, the zoom capability is what's really important. So as we get into higher resolutions of, uh, of video and photography, you're going to be able to zoom in on a picture that's taken from very far away and see a great deal of of detail uh, remaining in that picture. So you could take a picture from, you know, across the street or across the room and, and see uh, what's written on a piece of paper, for example. So I'm not sure how detailed it's going to be with the 8K on this camera. I've done some initial testing and it's, it, you know, it's kind of okay. Uh, but I just wanted to do a comparison for everybody else's benefit. I'm going to pop three other frames up here. Uh, this one is being recorded right now in 8K 24 frames per second. So I'll put a label up there for that. And then I'm going to pop up three other frames that I'll record separately at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, correction, 4K, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 30 frames per second, and 720p, 30 frames per second. So that's ultra high definition, full high definition, and high definition. And then we'll do a quick zoom just to see how they compare. And that's it. You can probably see the difference pretty clearly there. Just looking at that business card, uh, how much more detail is available, even when zoomed in on the 8K video. So I just thought that might be interesting for some people, and I kind of wanted to see it myself. So thanks for watching.